Test 2. Hello. This is the Young Learners English Flyers Listening Test. Look at Part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. So, this is your new classroom. It's very nice, but I don't know anybody here. A lot of people are new this year, Mum. That's William over there in the corner. He's reading a book. Is he the boy with glasses wearing a grey sweater? Yes, that's him. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now, you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that girl over there? Where? She's throwing some paper into the bin. Oh, that's Sarah. She's a very tidy person. Two. Who's that boy? The one who's picking up the dictionary. The boy with the green shirt? Yes, the boy with black curly hair. Oh, that's Robert. He works very hard at school. Three. Is that Helen next to the shelf? The girl holding the scissors and the glue? Yes, the tall girl with blonde hair. Yes, that's her. She came to my birthday party last year. Yes, that's right. I like her very much. Four. Who's that talking on the phone? The boy sitting at the back of the classroom? No, the one standing near the flag. Oh, that's Harry. He's very friendly. He's always speaking on the phone before lessons start. Five. Can you see the girl who's doing her homework? The girl with short brown hair and glasses? Yes, that's right. Oh, that's Betty. She always does her homework late. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that girl over there? Where? She's throwing some paper into the bin. Oh, that's Sarah. She's a very tidy person. Two. Who's that boy? The one who's picking up the dictionary. The boy with the green shirt? Yes, the boy with black curly hair. Oh, that's Robert. He works very hard at school. Three. Is that Helen next to the shelf? The girl holding the scissors and the glue? Yes, the tall girl with blonde hair. Yes. That's her. She came to my birthday party last year. Yes, that's right. I like her very much. Four. Who's that talking on the phone? The boy sitting at the back of the classroom? No, the one standing near the flag. Oh, that's Harry. He's very friendly. He's always speaking on the phone before lessons start. Five. Can you see the girl who's doing her homework? The girl with short brown hair and glasses? Yes, that's right. Oh, that's Betty. She always does her homework late. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, everybody. Listen carefully, please. I want to tell you something very important about a new school club. We are going to start a pizza club after school. 
the club is going to meet in the Italian restaurant in town called Neapolitana. Write that in your books, please. That's N E O P O L I T A N A. You all know that restaurant, don't you? Yes, Miss. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now we are going to meet for the pizza club every Wednesday at half past three. That's very early. We don't finish school until three. How can we get to the restaurant from school in half an hour? It's not a problem. The restaurant is going to send us a small bus to take everybody to the club. That's very good. What do we have to take with us, Miss? Well, you'll go in your school uniform, but you'll need to take some other clothes to cook in. You'll need, for example, to take a big T-shirt to wear over your school uniform. It's important to wear clean clothes when you cook. Is it okay if I wear one of my dad's t-shirts, Miss? That's a very good idea. Now you'll also need to take a hat with you. It's important to wear a hat when you are cooking. Okay. What about flour, butter, and milk to make the pizza? No, we don't need to take any of those things. We can use the flour, butter, and milk from the restaurant. One last thing, can you also bring a towel with you? It's important to wash your hands before and after cooking. Right. Is that everything then? Yes. See you all on Wednesday. Thanks, Miss. Bye. Now listen to part two again. Now. We are going to meet for the pizza club every Wednesday at half past three. That's very early. We don't finish school until three. How can we get to the restaurant from school in half an hour? It's not a problem. The restaurant is going to send us a small bus to take everybody to the club. That's very good. What do we have to take with us, Miss? Well. You'll go in your school uniform, but you'll need to take some other clothes to cook in. You'll need, for example, to take a big T-shirt to wear over your school uniform. It's important to wear clean clothes when you cook. Is it okay if I wear one of my dad's T-shirts, Miss? That's a very good idea. Now you'll also need to take a hat with you. It's important to wear a hat when you are cooking. Okay. What about flour, butter, and milk to make the pizza? No, we don't need to take any of those things. We can use the flour, butter, and milk from the restaurant. One last thing: Can you also bring a towel with you? It's important to wash your hands before and after cooking. Right. Is that everything then? Yes. See you all on Wednesday. Thanks, Miss. Bye. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at these paintings. Everybody in my family loves painting. They all go to the same painting club. The paintings are very good, and look at that one. It's great. Yes, the painting with the dinosaur in the forest is excellent, isn't it? My uncle painted it. He is very good at painting the environment. You know, forests, fields, rivers, lakes, and mountains. He also enjoys painting different animals. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My aunt paints very different things. 
She hates painting animals and the environment. She loves painting insects. She paints big pictures of very small insects. She explained to me that she loves painting butterflies, for example. She says their wings are beautiful and she loves the different colours. Yes, the wings on that butterfly are very beautiful, with the red, yellow and blue spots. Yes, I like it as well because of all of the interesting colours. I think the best painter in my family is my dad. He is really good. He's excellent at painting pictures of very hot countries. He enjoys painting things like camels in the desert. Wow! Is that his painting there, with the camels and the pyramids? Yes, that's right. I think you can feel the hot sun from the picture. I like that painting very much too. Which one? That one there, with the swans on the lake in the mountains. It looks very beautiful, with the sun and the clouds in the sky. My mum painted that. She loves painting animals and the countryside. And what about this one? My cousin painted that last year, when she went to the zoo. She loves painting zoo animals. I think the bears look very unhappy, and their fur is very dirty. I don't think they like living in that small cage. Yes, I think you're right. They look very sad. I don't think they have enough space to run and play in. Is this the last painting? Yes. My brother painted it. He likes painting the sea and different fish. It's an interesting painting, but I don't like it very much. I think the octopus doesn't look very friendly. I hate the dark blue colour, and I think the eyes are too big. Now listen to part three again. My aunt paints very different things. She hates painting animals and the environment. She loves painting insects. She paints big pictures of very small insects. She explained to me that she loves painting butterflies, for example. She says their wings are beautiful and she loves the different colours. Yes, the wings on that butterfly are very beautiful, with the red, yellow and blue spots. Yes, I like it as well because of all of the interesting colours. I think the best painter in my family is my dad. He is really good. He's excellent at painting pictures of very hot countries. He enjoys painting things like camels in the desert. Wow! Is that his painting there, with the camels and the pyramids? Yes, that's right. I think you can feel the hot sun from the picture. I like that painting very much too. Which one? That one there, with the swans on the lake in the mountains. It looks very beautiful, with the sun and the clouds in the sky. My mum painted that. She loves painting animals and the countryside. And what about this one? My cousin painted that last year, when she went to the zoo. She loves painting zoo animals. I think the bears look very unhappy, and their fur is very dirty. I don't think they like living in that small cage. Yes, I think you're right. They look very sad. I don't think they have enough space to run and play in. Is this the last painting? Yes. My brother painted it. He likes painting the sea and different fish. It's an interesting painting, but I don't like it very much. I think the octopus doesn't look very friendly. I hate the dark blue colour, 
and I think the eyes are too big. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Betty go on Saturday? Hello, Betty. Did you enjoy the weekend? Yes, thank you. We went to London on Saturday. Did you visit London Zoo or go to a theatre? No, we went to the Science Museum. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Who did Betty go with? Did you go with your parents? Yes, I went with my mum and dad and my big sister. Did your young brother stay at home? Yes, my grandma looked after him. Two. Where did Betty have lunch? We stayed in the museum until about one o'clock. And then we looked for a restaurant for lunch. The problem was that everything was so expensive, and a lot of the cheap restaurants were full. So what did you do then? We bought some food and drink in the supermarket, and sat on the grass in a park and ate it there. Three. What did Betty eat for lunch? Did you eat cold food, sandwiches, cake, biscuits? Fruit. No, we bought hot food. We had tomato soup and pasta with vegetables. Four. What did Betty buy? That's a nice sweater. Did you buy it in London? No, I bought these gloves. I saw a nice belt, but it was too expensive. Five. How did Betty get home? Did you go home by train? We had tickets for the train, but when we got to the station, there was a problem because of the bad weather. It started to snow heavily, and all the trains stopped. There were also no buses, so my dad decided to pay for a taxi. Now listen to part four again. One. Who did Betty go with? Did you go with your parents? Yes, I went with my mum and dad and my big sister. Did your young brother stay at home? Yes, my grandma looked after him. Two. Where did Betty have lunch? We stayed in the museum until about one o'clock. And then we looked for a restaurant for lunch. The problem was that everything was so expensive, and a lot of the cheap restaurants were full. So what did you do then? We bought some food and drink in the supermarket, and sat on the grass in a park and ate it there. Three. What did Betty eat for lunch? Did you eat cold food, sandwiches, cake, biscuits? Fruit. No, we bought hot food. We had tomato soup and pasta with vegetables. Four. What did Betty buy? That's a nice sweater. Did you buy it in London? No, I bought these gloves. I saw a nice belt, but it was too expensive. Five. How did Betty get home? Did you go home by train? We had tickets for the train, but when we got to the station, there was a problem because of the bad weather. It started to snow heavily, and all the trains stopped. There were also no buses, so my dad decided to pay for a taxi. Part five. Listen and colour, and write and draw. There is one example. Would you like to colour this picture of an airport? Yes, please. 
It looks very busy. Can you see the woman holding the baby? The woman with the two suitcases. Yes. Can you colour the big suitcase brown? Can you see the brown suitcase? This is the example. Now, you listen and colour and write and draw. 1. Can you see the young man holding the guitar? The one with long hair and a rucksack? Yes, I can see him. Well, can you colour his hair black? 2. Look at that businessman reading the magazine. He looks very important, with his striped jacket and trousers, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's reading a business magazine. Can I colour his jacket? Yes, you can colour it blue. 3. Those children look bored, don't they? Yes. Can you see the little girl holding the doll? Yes. The doll looks very beautiful and has very nice clothes. Can I draw some gloves for the girl? Yes, fine. And can you colour them purple? 4. Look at that old lady with the long skirt and glasses. Yes, she's taking her dog on holiday. Look, it's in a cage. Oh, it looks bored. I don't think it likes being in that cage. I think it's OK. Can you colour the dog's ball yellow? 5. Look at the wall behind the man in the uniform who works in the airport. Can you see a word? Yes, but mm, I think there is a word missing. Good girl. There is a word missing. It's first class. Write the missing word, please. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you see the young man holding the guitar? The one with long hair and a rucksack? Yes, I can see him. Well, can you colour his hair black? 2. Look at that businessman reading the magazine. He looks very important, with his striped jacket and trousers, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's reading a business magazine. Can I colour his jacket? Yes, you can colour it blue. 3. Those children look bored, don't they? Yes. Can you see the little girl holding the doll? Yes. The doll looks very beautiful and has very nice clothes. Can I draw some gloves for the girl? Yes, fine. And can you colour them purple? 4. Look at that old lady with the long skirt and glasses. Yes, she's taking her dog on holiday. Look, it's in a cage. Oh, it looks bored. I don't think it likes being in that cage. I think it's OK. Can you colour the dog's ball yellow? 5. Look at the wall behind the man in the uniform who works in the airport. Can you see a word? Yes, but mm, I think there is a word missing. Good girl. There is a word missing. It's first class. Write the missing word, please.